Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on guys? So Mikey Garcia, he returns after 11 months and gets a unanimous decision win over Jesse Vargas. Knocks him down in the sixth round, almost knocked him out. It was a really good fight. You know, um, I was really looking forward to watching this fight because of the styles, because I wanted to see how Mikey Garcia would do, considering the fact that he had lost to Errol Spence at the welterweight division. And now we got to see how he would do against someone who wasn't as talented as Errol Spence. And because of that, we've seen a dominant performance by Mikey Garcia in this fight. Now, the first two rounds, I give credit to Jesse Vargas because he was doing real good controlling distance. He, he actually won those rounds pretty clearly. But after a while, I think it was after the third or the fourth round, Mikey Garcia, and I've always told you guys, he has one of the best one-two combinations in the whole sport. And in this fight, around the third or the fourth round, Mikey, he landed his first one-two combination, the jab right hand, and it got Jesse Vargas' attention right away. And once he landed that punch, I said, okay, now Mikey has found his range, he's found his timing, and he's gonna start taking over the fight with that one-two combination. And that's exactly what happened. He kept throwing the one-two over and over and over again, and it kept landing on Jesse Vargas till eventually it knocked Jesse Vargas down. But man, you gotta give Jesse Vargas a lot of credit. He has a lot of heart. He showed a lot of heart in this fight because he was done. He looked like he was completely done in that sixth round. He came back, he started fighting. He still looked like he was a little bit out of it. But by the seventh or the eighth round, I should say, he was back in the fight. And you can clearly tell that Mikey Garcia, he felt that Jesse wasn't ready to go. So he even kind of pulled back a little bit and went back to outboxing Jesse Vargas. So once again, this was a great performance by Mikey Garcia. He really wants the Manny Pacquiao fight, and I think I would actually pick him to beat Pacquiao. But we'll see if Manny Pacquiao takes that fight. I mean, you had Devin Haney, who's been calling out Mikey Garcia. He said if he can't get any smoke at 135, he's willing to fight against Mikey Garcia. So... Let's see how this all plays out. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up, but before I do, I wanna give a shout out to my man, Nate Drink. That's his YouTube channel. He has a brand new YouTube channel where he covers all the sports, obviously including boxing. He also does recaps on battle raps, and he's a part of a podcast called A Drink of Wisdom that you can watch on his channel as well. He's also a 10-year Marine Corps vet. So go ahead and show your support by subscribing to his channel. I'll put the link in the description box. And if you're trying to get more subs on your YouTube channel, go ahead and contact me at Dante's Boxing Nation. Matter of fact, if you're trying to promote something, you're trying to promote a website, you're trying to sell something, go ahead and contact me at Dante's Boxing Nation at gmail.com. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one.